Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we got the Galaxy S4 here, and um, we're doing a bunch of tutorials and guides. And in this video, we're going to talk about Air View and Air Gesture. Now, you want to make sure that both of these are on if you want to utilize them. Now, you could have done that in your setup when you've initially turned on your phone, um, and you can also do it right from. Uh, the pull down, the notifi notification pull down, all the settings are here for many things, and air view and air gesture is here. Um, and so you need to make sure that they're turned on. You can also expand uh, these power settings as well, these quick power settings. Um, but however, even though they're turned on, you're going to want to go into the overall settings, uh, which is right here, and um, go ahead and go to the my device tab and uh, tap air view so that's what we're talking about now now n these won't all be on when you by default when you first turn on air view I believe only progress review and speed dial preview um, would be on and this uh, information preview and web page magnifier would be off so you have to decide if you want to use them in information preview um, this is actually I'm surprised this wasn't on by default but this was this will allow you um, to get text uh, from images that are you know you've if you applied text to images or hover over emails uh, to see you know text uh, that's within that email and then um, the web page magnifier, um, which I'll show you, uh, you just hold your finger over the uh, on a web page on the stock browser. Now that is, um, you can have a little bit of a magnifying glass, and then uh, by default the progress preview is on. So, like if you're watching a movie, you can uh, get the elapsed time by holding your finger over uh, the display. And uh, speed dial preview, if you have a number uh, set on your speed dial, you can um, put your finger over the number to, to make sure on exactly who you're dialing. But I'll show you a few things um, that, that work with AirView, or how AirView works with some things now. Um, email, this is just a regular uh, email account that I use for... Um, garbage so I got a lot of spam in here so uh, you just basically hold your finger over and then you can read uh, the email the good thing about this um, you know actually I always thought this was kind of like not a big deal what's the big deal with tapping on emails but one of the things you can use for this that's kind of cool is if you see these emails are listed as new you can see as I move my finger it's actually uh, moving with it the highlighter um, when I do that, I can actually read the email and leave it as new without having to go in the settings because a lot of times you do want to leave emails as new or as unread. Um, and so that's really cool. So you can just kind of read it and it's there. So that way when you go, when you have time uh, to look at your email, uh, then you know you have to look at it because a lot of times when you do tap on an email, you kind of lose it in the shuffle, especially if your inbox is as crowded as mine is. Now, it also works in the gallery. Um, so let's just go quickly to the gallery. Uh, right now I really don't have any images on the phone, but this is all from like Picasso. So here's a, a particular, um, well actually, let's go back here. Sorry about that. Um, right there you can kind of see I've got um, uh, seven pictures that I can see exactly what's in that folder. Um, if there, yeah, there's some more, there's, and so that's pretty cool. Um, and this is just like on the Galaxy Note 2. There's a chicken that was cooking. <laughs> a Galaxy Note 2 uh, with the uh, S Pen, but now you're using your finger. So that's what AirView is all about. It's about not touching the device and getting information. And now you can also do this um, by zooming in on the browser, as I mentioned. Let's go to the browser. And uh, let's just scroll down here. To something and by hovering your finger over I'm getting a zoom box that I can move from right to left it's kind of strange uh, to me it makes a lot more sense to do this but it is there and these are the kind of things well we lost it um, yeah there it is these are the kind of things that Samsung likes to include on phones uh, just throwing a bunch of features uh, that are kind of like 
cool in some ways, but sometimes they're not as useful. But you know, it is there. So, um, so that's AirView. Um, I mentioned you can do it with the phone, and um, so if you want to, if you, I don't have any numbers saved, but you could just hold your finger over a number. Uh, and it will tell you who that favorite is. So if you sign favorites to these, a lot of times you forget, you know, is mom number one, is your friend uh, Bill number six, what is it? So you don't have to accidentally dial them. So, you know, that's cool. But again, you want to make sure you go in the settings and turn off or on the things you want to use. Now, Let's talk about air gesture. Um, again, air gesture is uh, on, uh, but you want to make sure you go into your settings and take a look at what air gesture offers. It's under motions and gestures. Um, and again, that was in just to show you in the my device tab, motions and gestures. Okay, so. Um, I, again, I don't believe all three of these will be turned on. I think one or two of them wasn't, but, um, air gesture, control your phone by making specific gestures with your hand. Okay, that's on, and that, you'll, I'll show you, you can, like, change, um, if you're looking at pictures in the gallery, you can just swipe with your hand. Motion, control your device with natural movements, uh, like, putting the device to your ear to call a contact directly. That's um, actually, it was in the Galaxy S3, so that's nothing really new. And then palm motion, control your device by touching the screen with your hand. Um, a lot of times, and then there's even more settings within each one. Capture screen by swiping it from right to left or vice versa with the side of your hand. Um, Again, that was, I believe, in the Galaxy S3 for capturing the screen. And mute and pause. Uh, mute or pause sounds by covering screen with your hand while playing media with the screen on. Actually, I'm glad I looked at this because I couldn't figure out how to do things with music there. Um, and if you go into air gesture, you get, again, a whole bunch of different things here. Um, for the air, the call accept, air move, move app shortcuts or calendars. Air browse, move between pictures, pages, or music tracks. Haven't been able to figure out how to get music to switch to tracks, though, but I'll show you the browser. Uh, scroll web pages in screen size jumps. That would be on. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here for you to play with. I'm going to show you a couple things. Um, let's, first of all, lock the phone. And say your phone is on your desk. You can uh, walk up to it. Now, the sensor's up top above Samsung, so that's where you want to make sure you hit that. And I just basically did that, and I didn't have to lift up my phone, and right away I can see, uh, it didn't stay long, I can see um, my uh, lock screen to show me, um, you know, my phones, or a quick glance of what's going on as far as battery, phone, and all that good stuff. It's actually not the lock screen, that's the lock screen. Now, let's go into pictures again like we were before. Of course, you can hold down the home key and go to previous stuff. And uh, we'll go into that same gallery now. And, um, well, do, do it in this mode. Actually, yeah, it does work that way too. Uh, so if I go like that, well, it works better in this mode. Uh, so, there you go. I'm not sure that's going to work well in... The problem also lies in that you have to bring your hand around. Because if you bring your hand back, you're going to go back and forth. So that's one of the issues that you're going to have. But that's, uh, but if you, if you do it in this mode, uh, you're going to have to go up. Well, it's not as easy. It, it worked there. There we go. But again, you move your hand around. Got to move your hand around. You can't. If you go back, then uh, to bring your hand back into that position, then you lose it. Um, now let's look at the browser. If going to the browser. Um, I've got two tabs. I can do the same thing here. Switch to the different tabs that I have uh, for different browser browser pages that I have. Now let's look at a phone call. Let's just go ahead and lock the phone. I'm going to call with um, 
reviewing it here so I'm not going to censor the phone number um, but I'll show you if the phone's on your desk you can go ahead and answer it without picking it up you can glance at it and see who's calling you and uh, and here you go now you have to do a double swipe I believe and it's on and the speaker should be on yeah. hello hello, hello? hello? there you go and then, of course, end the call. So um, that's uh, kind of the stuff that you can do with Air Gesture. Pretty cool stuff. Again, it's a lot of stuff uh, to sink in when you have your phone and to set up all these things and figure it all out. And hopefully um, some of these guides that we're doing will help you use your Galaxy S4 uh, to the fullest extent and uh, look for some more stuff. We'll be talking about a lot of the new stuff uh, that's on the phone this year. So there you have it, and, um, you know, look for some more, uh, like I said, and uh, thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.